that the brows are on, let's go ahead and move on to the face. To start off, we're gonna prime the skin, and to prime the skin, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Prime, and this is the Hydrating and Smoothing Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this and prime the skin. We're just gonna use a little bit, we don't need a lot. And moisturize the skin. Okay, so for foundation, we're gonna be using two different foundations. We're gonna mix them together. The first one is by Smashbox, and this is the Studio Skin Foundation Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And this one is in number 4.25. And then we're also gonna mix this with the Huda Glowish um, Skin Tint. And this one is in number 11 Deep. So we're just gonna mix these two together and apply it to the skin. So as you can see, the skin is very glowy, it's very luminous. The really good thing about these two foundation mixed is that the Smashbox foundation is a full coverage matte foundation, whereas the Huda Skin Tint is a, like a medium coverage, very glowy, so it gives them a nice healthy balance between the two foundations, or skin tint and foundation. I just love how it looks on the skin. Full coverage, 24 hour wear, but it gives you a nice healthy balance between matte and dewy. Next, moving on, we're gonna go into concealer, and for concealer, we're gonna be using the Rare Beauty Concealer in number four. 30W, which looks like this, and we're gonna use this to brighten since we are pretty much concealed underneath the eyes. Also gonna brighten up just a little bit more um, for my concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer, and this is just gonna add a little bit more of a brightness to underneath the eyes. This is the Tarte Creamy Ultra Creamy Concealer, um, the Shape Tape one, and I am using number 47S to slightly brighten, very little. And this will also add a little bit more coverage. Even though we really don't need any more coverage because the foundation did a lot, this is just gonna add a little bit more coverage underneath the eyes while keeping underneath the eyes hydrated. Okay, so what I really love about the Rare Beauty Concealer, it is definitely more of like a medium coverage concealer, but it does have a nice luminous finish underneath the eyes. It's not too heavy, it has a nice, beautiful coverage underneath the eyes while also keeping underneath the eyes a little bit more on the luminous side so it doesn't look fall like it doesn't fall flat underneath the eyes also with the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer it gave it a little bit more coverage um, but also keeping the hydration and smoothness and luminous glow underneath the eyes so those two together are like a perfect match I also love that the Rare Beauty kind of goes along with any foundation that you use they really kind of mix and play well off of each other to set underneath the eyes, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. This is, of course, a cult classic. Um, this is a mattifying powder. However, this is going to be a good balance for the, all of the dewiness underneath the eyes to make sure it all stays put. But underneath your eyes also stays hydrated. So I always dip my sponge into the powder and press it underneath my eyes until it dis disappears.
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face. To set the rest of the face, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. You guys know from my last video that was all MAC. I love, love, love this powder. This is something that will never ever go away. It's just amazing. It sets the face and it keeps the skin looking nice, luminous, healthy, and glowy, with also keeping your makeup in place. So this is a very good natural setting powder natural looking setting powder okay so now to bronze up the skin we're gonna go in with the Juvia's Place bronzing powder and this one is in the bronzed bronzer wait the bronze bronze oh bronzed bronze dark we're going to mix these two and warm up the skin we are not going to be focusing on contouring right now simply warming up the skin because as you can see it's super red super warm so we're going to really use this to warm the skin up and i'm also going to go in with a mac 130 i think this is the 138 i think this is the 138 brush and just kind of mix the two now let's move on to contouring the face. So to contour the face, we're gonna go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW50. I'm gonna start off contouring the center of my face with my nose and then lightly chisel out the rest of my face. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer just so you can see what we're doing. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you the palette that we're gonna be working with today. Today we're gonna to be using the Morphe Palette 35XO, the Natural Flirt Palette. And if this doesn't scream spring, I don't know what does. It's just a super girly, flirty palette. Just love, love, love it. I wish the names were attached, but you know, we'll work that out. So let's go ahead and zoom in and get started. All right, so to start off, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna just, it has like this little tab here that has all of the names on them, but I wish it were attached. So we're gonna, oops, we're gonna go in with Talk Feelings, which is this one right here, and we're gonna apply this all over the lid and in the crease mainly in the crease actually with a big fluffy brush and this is the morphe times jacqueline hill jh09 so we're going to dip that in here and let's press this out oh that was a lot of pigment okay i am not mad at it I actually really like it, especially being chocolate. All right, so we're gonna take it one step further and we are going to mix, we're gonna deepen it up with this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on the lid, just to lighten it up a bit before we apply the shimmer on top, and just to kind of give it more of a little bit more structure without making it a cut crease. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back into the sharp tart sharp the tart shape tape 47s. All 
So I'm just gonna take my brush and soften where I kind of cut the crease because I don't, I didn't want it to be a harsh cut crease, but I did want that definition. We're gonna start off with Match Matchmaker, which is this one right here. We're gonna start off with that one. Then we're gonna top it off with, this one is called To Swoon. <sighs> to Swoon, and that is this one right here. It has a little bit more of the shimmery type of feel. So I'm gonna grab that one. I think I'm gonna spray my brush for this one um, because yeah, it looks like it's gonna have a little bit of fallout. So let's spray it and apply it right on top. Love that. Next, we're gonna top it off with, um, I think I wanna do this one. No, I don't. All right, so next we're gonna top it off and we're gonna top it off with Double Tap. I think that's what it's called. Yep, Double Tap, which is going to be this one. Oop, this one right here. We're gonna top it off with that one. So I mainly wanna focus this part, this one on the inner corner. Want to bring it a little bit on the lash line right in the center and this kind of creates you see how it kind of creates like that extra reflection in the center that's what I want here. okay and then we're gonna bump it up just one more time and this time we're gonna go in with this really, really icy one. And this one is called Your Move, which is this one right here at the top in the middle. Then we're gonna take the brush, go ahead and soften right here. Dust off, soften up these edges. All right, so I'm gonna do some mascara. I'm gonna go off camera and apply my lashes and the lashes that we're gonna be using today are by, of course, one of my favorite lash brands, which is the Eye Envy and these are the extension curls and I'm using the L curl in number zero two. These are just super feminine, super girly and perfect for this springtime look. So I'm gonna go ahead and mascara and pop these on and then we'll be back to complete the rest of the look. Okay, so now that we have the eyes completed, we're gonna go ahead and go back and finish off the rest of the face. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Pat McGrath powder setting underneath the eyes to brighten it just a little bit. We're gonna brighten a little bit underneath the eyes with yellow. So. I'm just gonna take a little bit and press it into the cap. And then right in here and underneath the eye. Right here. And I don't know if you can really tell, but it definitely brightens just a little bit, like just enough. Okay, 
okay and for blush I'm gonna go ahead and use this one from Mac and this is bread for beauty if I'm not mistaken this one was limited edition I'm gonna link some ones that are super close and matching this or like dupes um, I'll link some below and if I can find it I'll link this one too so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on this blush Then I'm also gonna top it up and kind of ump up the pink with the one called Full Fuchsia. Now this one is available at MAC. Then we're gonna move on to lips. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go with like a pinky, nudie type of lip. So for that, let me show you. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of chestnut. This is definitely a classic, always gonna be a classic, definitely a staple lip liner from MAC. Take off some of this chapstick. And now I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and I'm gonna slightly overline as well. Then I'm gonna take number 670 from Maybelline and this is in the color Ravishing Rose. Just gonna add a little bit of mascara to my lashes to slightly emphasize them. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see. Yeah. See a difference? Just a little bit of mascara to the lashes. Just kind of keeps them in the natural-esque feel. Okay. Um... You know what, I'm not gonna highlight the skin because I feel like I always highlight the skin. So today we're not gonna highlight the skin. We're just gonna go ahead and set this face and then yeah, do the wrap up. So let's go ahead and spray and wrap up. All right, so to set the face, we're gonna be using the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray and I'm gonna set it by spraying it on the sponge first and then pressing it into the skin opposed to just misting my face because I don't want to loosen up the glue from my lashes because this is more of a luminous glowy spray. all right guys so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoy this the first look of many looks for springtime i hope everybody's ready my allergies aren't but you know it is what it is i'm really excited for springtime i hope you guys are too i hope you guys enjoyed this little springtime look i really did love that palette um, I was very impressed by the pigment of the palette and how it showed up, especially on this chocolate skin. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you stay up to date every time I upload a video and you don't miss a video. All right, until next time.
Bye guys, happy spring. Credit cards, wave it over me, give me what I want.